Now, Tampa is a great cruise hub, but if you look around, there's a lot more than vacationers passing through Port Tampa Bay. Big businesses are using it to ship day in and day out. So I took a trip to check things out, and I even got to sit in the driver's seat of one of those brand new gantry cranes. Take a look. Skyscrapers aren't the only thing that dot the Tampa skyline. The bright orange gantry cranes at Port Tampa Bay are an open invitation for new trade and growth for the city. And these new cranes are magnificent and can handle ships twice the size. On any given day, a thousand containers can move through this port. Hold tight, guys. You are tight. It's a 10-hour workday, hoisting and lifting, and that's one load, and that's on a good day. And it all happens under the watchful eye of engineering manager Dietmar Reuten. So this is now a, a scary feeling, right? Because there's no ship there. The, the wings, it's a totally different perspective. He invited us up 150 feet to a cabin perched halfway up the monstrous 16,000 ton crane. It's only half the speed, now we're going a little bit faster, and this is the maximum speed. On a computerized track, we ride out 174 feet over the water to the end of a huge boom. And as soon as the spreader is down... With a huge spreader that drops down and picks up these containers two at a time. And it's all powered by a giant nerve center of computers. And a German engine, Dietmar, doesn't mind bragging about it all. This is um, the nice thing on the new cranes. These cranes can go out 174 feet. And this is built for the new ship generation, post Panama Max. Post Panamax, the expanded, deepened, and improved Panama Canal, which means bigger ships to Tampa. If you don't have the big cranes, they'll never even consider Tampa. Doug Ray, vice president for Ports America Commercial, says for too long, Tampa has been overlooked, which brings us back to the new trade deals and the cranes, where Dietmar let me give this big gantry crane a go. My turn? You do it. You do it. Okay. This information, how fast you can go. He's assured me it's foolproof, but I dutifully listened to his instruction. The right joystick for going up and down. Okay. Oh, I said, oh, oh, I'm going too fast. No, no, you can do nothing wrong here. Okay. It is high and terrifying. Okay. So if there was a ship down here, this would be loaded on top of the cargo, right? Yes. Okay. So if you bring it to the window, we're going forward. How fast does this thing go? Uh, the uh, trolley speed, which is what we're doing right now. The maximum speed we're doing right now? <laughs> uh, the trolley, stop, 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 stop. Oh, oh, oh. Here you have <laughs> oh my god, are we still going forward? Are we? I swore we were still moving. Uh, okay, now what? We've been so calm up to now. I love all of you. We've shared a moment now. I will never do that again, and I'm sure that is just fine with all these guys. Better to leave that job to the pros. And I have to say a special Good thank Lord. you to them <laughs> for letting me do that. What a ride. As for the future of the port, President Trump has talked a lot about making changes to NAFTA. But Doug says that those will not mean much for Port Tampa Bay. What the port needs, he said, is rail service, trains, for CSX to do more business on the West Coast. And I called CSX about that. Spokeswoman for the company says conversations are happening right now about trade lines to the Midwest.